In this video, I'll show you how to make floor plans in a free version of a tool called SketchUp. You can find the tool at SketchUp.com. Let's open up a project and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is create a white background and create a top-down view so that we're working on floor plans and not three-dimensional plans like this. So if I were to draw something on here, we'd see it from the side and we could use the orbit tool, which we'll get to later in this video, to kind of create a top-down view, but it's not the same as having a blank white canvas with a perfect top-down view for drawing floor plans. So to create a white background, we'll go over here to styles, which is the two shapes in this toolbar, and then go to the browse icon, go down here to styles, default styles, and we can click right here and this will give us a white background. So if you're making other projects, you might want a blue sky, green grass sort of look, but for this one, we're going with a completely white background. If we want to delete this guy, we could use the selector tool, which you could get to by hitting spacebar. You can click on him and hit delete. So now let's create a top-down view so that we're drawing in a floor plan style. You can do that by going over here to scenes, which is this icon, clicking on it, and go down to scenes and select the one right in the middle here. This is the top down view. So from here, let's draw a rectangle for our outer perimeter. We'll use the rectangle tool, which you can find right here, or you can simply hit R on your keyboard. So to draw a rectangle, we'll click and then just drag this line out. And if we click again, it will close the rectangle. But before I do that, I'm going to type in 32 feet and I'm using apostrophe to abbreviate foot, comma, 20 feet, enter. And now we have a rectangle that's 32 by 20. And if we want to get rid of the blue, green, and red axis, we can do that by going to display right here and removing axis. So let's create a floor plan. If you're creating a floor plan for a house, you're going to want to show the thickness of the wall. So if you were framing with two by sixes on the outside wall, the two by six is actually five and a half inches thick. And let's assume that we've got a half inch finish on both sides. So we'll make our walls 6.5 inches thick. Now we could draw another rectangle around this. We could use the line tool to draw lines. But what I'm going to do is hit F for the offset tool. And you can find that right here. This push pull tool will be on your toolbar by default. You can find the offset tool right here, but again, F is the shortcut for it. And the offset tool makes a shape inside of a shape. So I'm going to click and drag this, and I can just type in 6.5, enter. And now if we zoom in and hit T for the tape measure tool, which you can also find right here, we can measure this and verify that it's six and a half inches. So now we have a six and a half inch thick wall on the outside. Now let's frame some walls on the inside. So I'll use the line tool for this. If I hit L, it'll give me the line tool. You can find the line tool right here on the toolbar. And this is the tool you'll use just for drawing straight lines. So if we click on this corner and then we move it along this line, we could type in 10 feet, hit enter. And it makes a mark right there. Now, because this was 20 feet, we could also have used the midpoint. If you hover the line tool over any line, it will give you the midpoint. So we've got a mark at 10 feet. If we click on that, we come out and type 10 feet, enter. We've got another line at 10 feet and we'll connect them there. So we'll call that a bedroom and let's go ahead and show the thickness of this wall. So we wouldn't need to use the same two by sixes on the interior. If you were building a house to save some money, you could frame with two by fours here. So we'll assume since two by fours are three and a half inches, we'll assume our wall is four and a half inches. That's a half inch of finish on each side. So I'll hit T for the tape measure tool and I'll just type in 4.5 and I'll do the same thing right here, 4.5. And so now I have the thickness of the wall shown and if I hit L for the line tool I can simply trace this line and now we have our interior wall. If I hit E for the eraser I can erase the guidelines that we made with the tape measure and also erase these lines here. 
So if you wanted to distinguish the two thicknesses of the wall, you could hit B for the paint tool and then go to the browse icon and go down here to patterns. Under patterns, you can select any of these patterns. We'll take one and we'll paint it inside the two x six wall just to distinguish the two x six from the two x four framing. If you were making actual architectural plans, you would create a legend that shows the reader of this plan, which wall is which. So now if we wanted to create a door, we could come down here to our two x four wall. And if we want the door right here, I'll first take the tape measure tool and I'll put it right here and I'll type in 18 inches. So that's where we're going to start one side of our door, 18 inches away from the wall. So if I hit L for the line tool, I can connect this and make a line. And now we don't need this guide anymore. So I'll hit T again for the tape tool. And if you are on a line when you pull the tape measure, you won't be able to snap a guideline. So what you want to do is with the tape measure tool, get it in the middle of your line and pull it down like this. And I'll type in 32. So our doorway is going to be 32 inches wide. And now with the line tool, I can make our second line. So now we have a space for 32 inches and we'll assume that the door swings from this side around to here. So I'll draw a line from this edge, type in 32. So now we have a 32 inch line here. And if I go over here to the arc tool, there's four different arc tools. The top one is the one you'll want to select. We can click right here, come to here, and then click a third time right there. So now we've shown a door, and if I hit E for the eraser tool, I can erase the guideline in this line here. And if we wanted to create more walls, we could just simply draw them in. Anywhere you could draw line to line, and again, take your tape measure, measure the thickness of the wall you want, so 4.5, take the line tool again, and draw your line. So we would do the same thing with a door. And if you wanted to add windows, the way that they're usually shown in drawings, let's say there was a window here. We'll take the line tool and we'll just draw, we'll say the window's four feet. So if I zoom in, I can take my tape measure, type in 48 for 48 inches, draw another line. And then I'll delete this pattern just by clicking on the face with the select tool, which I use spacebar to get to hit delete. And then I'll just draw a third line in the middle like this. And usually that is enough to depict a window. Some people add a little edge that comes out on the outside, but you can do it however you'd like. If this were a bathroom, you could actually go into the 3d warehouse, which is right here and you could find things like toilets and stuff like that. But what I'm going to do is simply take the rectangle tool, make a small rectangle, and then I'll hit C for the, rec for the circle tool and just make a small circle. So we'll call that a, to a toilet. So that is the basics of framing in the free version of SketchUp. Be sure to check out my next video, which will be the pro version, which I'll show how to take these plans and make them into printable construction drawings. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.